In this presentation, we are going to solve question number 4 and according to the question for the circuit given in the figure, the voltage VC in volts across the capacitor is. This is the circuit and we are required to find VC which is the voltage across this 1 microfarad capacitor and uh, there are four options given in the question and we are required to choose one correct option. And uh, this question is taken from Gate EC 2018 paper and I want you to pause this video and uh, have a look at the circuit and try to solve this question on your own. I hope you are done. Now we will move on to the solution. And uh, the step number one is to convert this circuit to the frequency domain. And uh, we will start with this voltage source corresponding to the maximum value. We will have 5 angle 0 degree in volt as the phasor voltage. And the two resistors we are having will remain as it is. In place of 1 microfarad we will have minus J over 5 multiplied to 1 micro that is 5 multiplied to 1 multiplied to 10 raised to power minus 6 when you simplify this you will have minus j 200 kilo ohms and in place of vc we will have vc phasor so we will first find out vc phasor and once we have vc phasor we can have vc now I will assume that the circuit is having the phasor current as I phasor and if we can calculate I phasor we can have VC phasor because VC phasor is equal to I phasor multiplied to minus J200 minus J200 kilo ohm. So we will focus on calculation of I phasor. I phasor we can calculate using the KVL. We can find out I phasor using the KVL in this loop. So starting from here we will have plus 5 angle 0 degree. Then we will have minus I phasor multiplied to 100 kilo ohm minus I phasor multiplied to 100 kilo ohm. Then we will have minus I phasor multiplied to minus J 200 kilo ohm minus I phasor multiplied to minus J 200 kilo ohm and then we have minus I phasor multiplied 200 kilo ohm minus I phasor multiplied to 100 kilo ohm equal to 0. When you simplify this you will have I phasor and uh, you will find I phasor is equal to 1 angle 0 degree over 40 root 2 angle minus 45 degrees and the unit will be milliamperes. So we have calculated I phasor and now we will have VC phasor. It will be equal to 1 angle 0 degree over 40 root 2 angle minus 45 degrees multiplied to minus j 200 kilo ohm multiplied to minus j 200 kilo ohm and the unit of vc phasor will be volts because milliamps multiplied to kilo ohms will give us volts now moving on to the next step we will convert minus j 200 to the polar form we will have 200 angle minus 90 degrees when you simplify this you will have vc phasor equal to 5 over root 2 angle minus 45 degrees and uh, we can write 5 equal to 2 multiplied to 2.5 so VC phasor will be equal to 2 multiplied to 2.5 divided by root 2 angle minus 45 degrees. 2 can be written as root 2 multiplied to root 2. So we will have 2.5 multiplied to root 2 angle minus 45 degrees. 
so VC phasor it is equal to 2.5 root 2 angle minus 45 degrees we can write as minus 0 0.25 pi so the magnitude is equal to 2.5 root 2 this means option A and option B both are incorrect and uh, the phase should be minus 0 0.25 pi so this means option D is also incorrect and therefore option C is the correct option